Iceland is an island country situated between the Arctic Ocean and the North Atlantic Ocean. Most of this country's islands have a polar climate, hence its name. Albeit the country's given name, it would also be known as the land of fire and ice. This is because the country sits on a constant source of friction, resting in the middle of two tectonic plates, the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates. This causes volcanism to be a common and significant event in Iceland, as the landscapes are brimmed with active volcanoes. It is the least populous country in the entire world, and it's also one of the youngest landmasses on the planet due to it only being discovered a thousand years ago by Vikings. Aside from Iceland's volcanic activity and glaciers, what makes this country so unique? What are the terrifying discoveries that scientists have made on this Nordic island? Join us as we uncover the mysteries surrounding this land of fire and ice. Viking Era Caves In 2018, scientists made a remarkable finding when they discovered an intact man-made cave near Oddi in South Iceland. The scientists would soon find themselves more surprised by this discovery when they found out that the man-made cave served as a passage to an extensive interconnection of caves. Studies show that these caverns were built between 800 and 1060 AD during the Viking era. Researchers state that the cave is possibly the Norta Helle Bull Cave, which is mentioned in Jarteinabok Borlag Biskup's Bishop Borlako's Legend of Saints. The manuscript describes how Norta Helle collapsed with 12 bulls, supporting the idea that the cavern may have likely been used for livestock. The team excavating the cavern has only partially opened up the much larger caverns connected to it due to the caves being prone to disintegration, and they believe these caverns weren't used for very long because of this. Archaeologists find it hard to dig out the remaining burrows for the same reason, resulting in the other caverns remaining a mystery to this day. Asbirgi Canyon The Asbirgi Canyon is well known for its distinct horseshoe shape. The structure is a part of Yogelsag Yulfu Canyon, located within the Vadne Yokel National Park. The canyon's steep sides measure up to 100 meters in height and approximately 3.5 kilometers in length. Within the canyon is a lush woodland with numerous species of trees and waterfowl, making it a marvelous sight to behold. The forest is a protected area, but there is a camping area near the canyon's entrance, allowing traveling visitors to climb the canyon. This spectacular canyon is considered one of the wonders of nature, harboring thousands of tourists yearly. Scientists proclaim that the unique shape of the canyon was formed by the catastrophic glacial flooding of the river Yokulsa Afjolium after the last ice age 10,000 years ago. However, a legend among Icelanders said that the canyon was formed when Slepne, Odin's eight-legged horse, touched one of its feet to the ground here. Some even say that Asbergi is the capital of the hidden people in Iceland. Which one do you prefer to believe? Stroka Giza The Stroka Giza is a fountain-type Giza located beside the Fita River in Iceland. The Giza erupts every 6 to 10 minutes, shooting up fountains of hot water every time. This was discovered in 1789 when an earthquake occurred in the following area, unblocking the conduit of the Giza. Although the Giza's activity fluctuates from time to time, it continues to gush out tall fountains of water. One of these fountains even went up as high as 60 feet in 1815. Where did the word Giza come from? What most people don't know is that the term Giza is actually derived from the Icelandic term geysir, which means to gush. These formations are associated with the volcanic activity with which Iceland is abundant. Geysers are very rare and are useful to scientists studying the Earth. This is because they can indicate the location of heat sources underneath the ground and they erupt more frequently than volcanoes, allowing the release of pressured hot water out of the Earth periodically. The Golden Circle The Golden Circle, or Guni Hringurin in Icelandic, is a tourist route covering about 300 kilometers in southern Iceland. The route's name is derived from the term Gulfoss, which means golden waterfall, an attraction you can visit when you follow the trail and circle because the route loops from Reykjavik into the southern lands of Iceland and back. The Golden Waterfalls is Iceland's most iconic waterfall, found in the Havita River Canyon in southwest Iceland. The attraction is popular because of its dramatic display of nature, when the water from the Havita River travels from the glacier Langjökull before flowing 105 feet down to the two-tiered Golden Waterfall. This beautiful site is the most visited place on the sightseeing route of the Golden Circle. Another attraction along the Golden Circle that grabs the attention of curious travelers is Lake Karen 
a volcanic crater lake located in the Grimsnes area in South Iceland. Surrounded by red volcanic rock, this lake sits in a volcanic caldera, amusing visitors with its bright sapphire-colored waters. The Fagradalsvall Volcano For 815 years, there had been no volcanic interruption on the Rig James Peninsula, a region in southwest Ireland. However, in 2021, a fish event appeared on Fragedalsvall Mountain, gradually followed by an eruption that formed today's Fragedalsvall Volcano. The eruption stood out amongst the other volcanoes and had been monitored closely for its continuous periodical release of fresh lava. Before the eruption had occurred, an intense earthquake episode happened throughout large parts of Iceland, stirring up the thoughts of the people there. The earthquakes were severe, shaking up the land for weeks. When geoscientists interpreted data from seismometers, they concluded that a rapid crustal uplift had produced the reoccurring earthquakes. The shaking had stopped altogether for a short while, but in March of 2021, people nearby the Rigsjain Peninsula reported seeing a glowing light in the sky. There had been no tremors, so the only way for the scientists to find out what was happening was to go up to Frangedalsvall Mountain. Upon arriving at the scene, they discovered a steady flow of lava from the mountain. The eruption of the Frangedalsvall volcano appeared to be different from most eruptions, because unlike other volcanoes fed by magma chambers, the Frangedalsvall eruption seemed to be fed by a relatively narrow and long channel linked to the Earth's mantle. Hecla Volcano Notoriously known as the Gateway to Hell, the Hekla Volcano in the south of Iceland is the country's most active volcano that displayed a long history of destruction. The volcano had been dormant for roughly 250 years when it explosively erupted in 1104, covering over half of Iceland in clouds of ash. In Icelandic, the term Hekla means a short hooded cloak. Thus, the Hekla Volcano got its name from a frequent cloud resembling the shape of a cloak covering the summit of the volcano. This so-called Gateway of Hell erupted many times between 1104 and 2000, with significant eruptions occurring in 1300, 1766, and 1947-48. In fact, the Hegla volcano has erupted so much that it has been proclaimed as the volcano that produced the most volume of lava in the world in the last millennium. After the Hegla volcanic eruption of 1104, Cistercian monks spread stories throughout Europe declaring that Hekla was the gateway to hell. After the explosion in 1341, people saw birds flying in the mountain's fire, believing that the birds represented souls. This continued until the 19th century, and to this day, legends say witches still gather on Hekla during Easter. The Submerged Continent A tremendous discovery led to the question of the breaking up of Pangaea, when a group of academics proclaimed Iceland to be the last remnant of a sunken continent called Icelandia. According to their theory, the supercontinent Pangaea did not break apart cleanly, and the lost continent of Icelandia remained as the unbroken strip of land that stayed above the ocean until 10 million years ago. Eventually, Icelandia sank, and only Iceland remained. They proclaim that Icelandia may have once stretched more than 600,000 square kilometers between Greenland and Europe before plunging into the ocean. Scientists believe that the Earth's crust comes in two distinct types, oceanic and continental crust, the continental crust being much thicker than the oceanic crust. In 2021, a team of geoscientists published their hypothesis that the North Atlantic Ocean may be hiding a vast region of sunken continental crust. This is after they discovered that the crust under Iceland happened to be 25 miles thick, much thicker than the typical ocean crust. With this new information, their theory of Icelandia began to challenge long-held scientific ideas around the extent of oceanic and continental crust in the North Atlantic region, and how volcanic islands like Iceland formed, leaving much room for discussion on the matter. Our planet is constantly changing from tectonic plates drifting to volcanoes erupting and earthquakes. These powerful forces shape our land and water continually changing Earth. What would have been the state of the Earth if these changes had never occurred? What would you do if you were to encounter destructive volcanic eruptions? Do you think that there might actually be a hidden continent beneath Iceland? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.